From Italian to Spanish to Greek, let's continue our journey back in time down an ancient Greek pathway. So there are so many beautiful streets here in Sorrento, but this one is a very special one. It's an ancient street. See, it's an ancient Greek street, and this was the main street. This was the main Decumano, going from west to east. And at the very, very bottom, there was the main door. Oh, fantastic. This is the Decumano Massimo. Well, that was its Greek name until it was renamed Via San Cesaro by the Romans. Ooh. If it feels a bit narrow, that's intentional. It was designed to be shaded by the buildings during those hot Sorrento summers. And tucked into this ancient street is a spacious loggia with soaring arches, incredible frescoes, family coats of arms, and more of that intricate Majolica tile on the dome. This is uh, Sedil Dominova? Yes. I said it right, I said it right. Yeah, right. yeah very good. What, it looks beautiful, and we've, we've got all these paintings and frescoes and things. What was it used for, though, back at the time where, you know, the street was one of well, the main streets? this was, in reality, Nowadays we could say the parliament. Let's say mm. this was the area, the building where the noble men, the members of the noble families in Sorrento used to meet each other during the Middle Ages. Under this heavenly setting, with cherubs flying overhead, the town council and noble families, men only of course, would gather here to talk about civic problems and for some juicy as a Sorrento lemon town gossip. To talk about uh, politic business, uh, uh, economic business, nowadays I should say also other people's business. Other people's business, a <laughs> little bit of gossip, a little bit of gossip. But a little bit of gossip. But you know, in the area we had so many of them. In the city of Naples we had seven of them. And now this one in front of you is the only one well preserved that we have in the old Campania region. Wow. Yeah. So why is this medieval town hall called Sedile Dominova? Well, domus means house and nova means new and sedile means seat. So it's kind of like the county seat of government. And some of those noblemen who met here at Sedil Dominova would have lived nearby. So let's knock and see who's home. Wow. So just steps off the busy street, this huge door, you come in. And this and is where art, and art, yeah. you have peace and tranquility. And it's where one of the noble families. Okay. And you see here we have a big door and a small one. Nowadays we use only, only the small one. But the noble families used to come home with the carriage. So when they were coming back home, they, the servants used to open the big door for them and they closed the door. And so the simple life, let's say, the noise was outside. Here they have, they have their peaceful life. It's fantastic. So what time period are we talking about with this particular family? And is that About their this family, heart? you see the frescoes are dated by the 1600, the beginning of the 1600. Uh, so. Some of them are 3D frescoes. Wow. And, and nowadays it's regular apartments upstairs? What do we you think? We have 12 this... families living uh, where in the past of one family. Of one family. Mm -hmm. 